1986, the year our world turned to ashes. The atomic flame, unleashed by the leaders of the East and West, like a genie from his bottle, circled the globe in a mere minutes and devoured it to the bone. Without sparing neither the innocent nor the guilty, without naming a victor to the bloody war, a nuclear blaze destroyed everything in its path, including the reasons for the conflict that sent the remnants of humanity back into the dark ages, back into the primeval state with no government, no technology, no culture, and no morals. 2005. 19 years have passed from the day of the Great Purge. Both once glorious empires and their loyalists now lie in ruins. However, amidst the ruins, new civilizations start to rise up to the unforgiving sun. From the rusted radioactive derelict of the old world, new ancient states, both brave and wild, emerge to join the never-ending battle for the right to exist on the planet, mutilated beyond recognition by the flames of apocalypse. Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Gio from SwitchRPG.com. We have here today Adam RPG. I want to just disclaimer out there, um, I did tell myself, as well as many people in my circles, that I would never record or play another CRPG uh, with real time with pause. Um, you know, a la Pillars of Eternity. Um, I don't think Wasteland 2 does it. Um, Tower of Time, things like that, that I've played on this channel. It, those games are perfect for the PC, just not for me on a console. But here we have Adam RPG. I am told that it's a turn-based RPG. Um, here we have a post-apocalyptic setting. The, the narrator there painted a beautiful picture as to what's going on here. Um, so yeah, let's... Let's just get on with it here. All right, so we got low. Let's take a look at the settings as we always do. We got some languages, uh, language options. Okay, isometric mode. Huh. I'm actually kind of surprised that it doesn't automatically come with isometric mode. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And is that it? Yeah, that is it. Oh wait, I did want to see. So that is audio. How do I? Oh, change page. There we go. So we have some audio settings. And then some game settings. Special code. Oh, I want I want a special code. Hmm. I do remember this game being or being kickstarted. I unfortunately I didn't uh back it at that point. Um but yeah. Battle speed. Yeah, we may we may be modifying some things here. Uh first being the isometric and maybe some um battle speed. I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah, we'll, we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a go, see how it goes. If I'm absolutely not enjoying myself, not enjoying my time with the game, I unfortunately will have to cut it short. And, but I will let you know. I will let you know. Oh, here we go. Look at all of this stuff. All right, so we have, we have five. Do we have points we're giving away here? Navigation. All right, so we have 20 points to put it to skills. And five to put it to some characteristics. Pretty basic kind of stuff here nothing crazy how do do i how do i change this though let me just select do i not what do i do anybody i'm pushing i'm pushing bumpers it's changing my image that's not what i want to do that's okay i will change the name at some point Unless I find something I like. Oh, I want to be a... Oh, it said Leo. I want to be a Leo. Can we get back to that? Anyway, if I can find... Oh, dragon? Does that say dra... I know it's not spelled right, but whatever. Um, Yeah, I, 
I gotta figure out how to change these. All right, well, let, let's try some some buttons here. So we got the the bumper buttons, just changing that. The rear buttons, nope. I'm pushing A to try and change that. Unless these are just them, but I mean, it looks like it's making me choose that though. All right, that's changing a name. Um, no. That's creation, so we can go in and create that. Is this where? We, oh, this is where we start a game. But I'm trying to figure out. I mean, unless you're just not able to change this, that doesn't make any sense. Help me out, guys. Huh. All right. Uh, pushed. Oh, oh wow! Really? Okay. Um, I will say this is a bit odd to have uh these buttons do it, but it is the plus and minus buttons on the switch. So visually, it makes sense. That's what it's telling you to push. But it's I've never seen it done that way. Okay. Uh, so what kind of character are we gonna build? Are we gonna be able to build a strength character? I don't know how this game is played. Like, are there a lot of melee weapons? Are there a lot of uh, ranged weapons? I do see rifle, shotguns, automatic firearms, some throwing weapons. Uh, so I, I would assume throwing weapons is good with dex. Endurance, let's see, total maximum health resistance against negative effects. Strength, obviously it's going to help with carry weights as well as some melee. Uh, so do I want somebody kind of really up in people's grills? Effects number of skill points allocated on level up. Attention governs accuracy in ranged combat. Personality affects speechcraft and barter skills. Luck slightly affects almost every action the character takes. I don't know if I want to dump a lot of skills in there, but let's just go. Yeah, and I don't know if you can change this either down the line. Uh, let's make ourselves. <laughs> this is a tough choice. This is a tough choice. See, see, here's the thing, right? Like, if I go here to help with range weapons like are we getting guns right away are is ammunition um very hard to find things of that nature so it's really hard to to decide this right now but so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to dump all into strength and you know it affects my maximum health which is always good um but we're going to kind of go melee at first so after weighing all my options that, that's that's what we do our martial arts, this skill governs your ability to kick and punch melee weapons. Let's put some points into that and bring us to 50. Throwing weapons, automatic firearms. I mean, I don't want to be a complete dummy, you know, when using this, so we'll, we'll stick to maybe some of the smaller, smaller uh, guns there. Uh, barter, gambling, survival. Uh, your skill at surviving the hardships of the wasteland helps you locate points of interest. Okay. First aid, stealth. Hmm, it might be good to be stealthy. Okay. Pickpocket. Heck yeah. Technology measures you both your understanding of the ability to use pre-war technology. Tinkering. Okay. All right, let's 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 bump up our stealth a little bit. First aid makes sense. Uh, gambling, barter, speechcraft. I think this is going to be helpful. Kind of talking your way through some situations. And then let's let's really bring in some melee weaponry skills. Okay, cool. And then we have distinction. All right. So this is kind of like if we're in the D and D world, right? These are your feats. Uh, so uh, black belt. You're a martial arts enthusiast. So plus one endurance, plus fifteen in martial arts, plus fifteen melee weapons. That actually might be good. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, slain humans. So it gives us a, a boost to humans, but our personality takes a little bit of a hit. Sexual appeal, uh, we're not doing that. Child prodigy, uh, intellect, personality, intent, okay, 50% X, oh, minus 50% XP gain. Nah, I don't want that. I do think I want to do the black belt, so can I select that? Oh, it, wait a minute, holy cow, it really just, it totally changed my numbers here. <laughs> holy cow. So, you're, if you're playing this, guys, you're going to want to choose your distinctions first, I would say. Uh, because those are significantly modified, and that may change 
how you uh, give out your points. So I would definitely recommend doing your distinction first. Um, okay. Hobby engineer, glutton, pangs heart. The pangs of her, uh, hunger hit you harder. Da -da -da. Endurance. Huh. Okay, I, I think we're going to do this. We, we put some points into stealth as well. So this increases dex, sneak, dodge, lockpicking. Um, unfortunately, we're a little bit of a pip squeak and we can't carry weight, but we do have a lot of points into our strength to help out with that. Let's see, lone wolf, you're much happier on your own. Huh, I always, you typically go lone wolf. If you've watched my Divinity Original Sin 2, uh, lone wolf is, I went the whole way with lone wolf. Yeah, let's go with circus education. Uh, so again, it changes some things. I do recommend doing this first and going from there. Okay, create. Traveler, is this changing anything? Clothes kit, so we're traveler, army, action here. Let's go traveler. So easy, normal, expert, survival. Are you serious? We're going normal. Let's do this. Hey, this doesn't... This doesn't really look post-apocalyptic. This doesn't look that bad. I, I think that video in the beginning kind of painted a really grim picture. This isn't bad. Look at this. You got three friends hanging out. You got some cows. And there's grass? What? It's not bad. Not bad at all. You have a peculiar dream. Red stars glow in the sky. And giant mushrooms rise from to the heavens. As horned shadows dance at the edge of, an, of the, an ancient forest, suddenly darkness falls. An image, and the images are, are eclipsed within a black void as it surrounds you. As it billows closer and closer, like an impenetrable smoke, as it rubs against your body like a cat, it's soothing and calming. Before devouring you, what? We're dead. You swallow a thick lump of saliva and look around you frantically. You see nothing unusual in your barracks for your your bar you're in the barracks for agents about to deploy on field work. A man is standing near you. He looks worried. Having nightmares, huh? Cadet Ibrahim I didn't change my name. My name is Ibrahim. Ibrahim, that's terrible. I'm gonna have such a difficult time saying this to Ibrahim. Ibra Ibrahim? Ibrahim? Ibrahim. Anyway, um, even yesterday's storm didn't wake you up, right? Right? Take all the rest you can before the mission. Uh, what's my mission, though? That will be disclosed during the final briefing. Come on, soldier. Shape up. Uh, fine, fine. Uh, who are you supposed to be, though? <laughs> Agent Alf. See, I would have liked a, a name like Alf. Not fair. Of the Honey Eaters Brigade, our, leader, our leaders asked me to watch over you until your departure to make sure everything's A-OK. -okay. Uh, where am I? Can't tell. Guess I overslept. Are you pulling my leg? This is ground, lab, ground level of Adam HQ. Let me guess. Next, you're going to ask what year it is and what sort of war we... Uh, actually, yes, I do want to know what year it is. Yeah, sure. You didn't take something to help you sleep last night, comrade crackhead. It's 2005. Don't scare me like that. All right, sh what should we do now? First, get some food in your system. There are biscuits on the table. Then we'll think about what to do with our... What to do next? We still have some time before the briefing starts. Um, yeah. All right, fine. Let's go eat. Uh, that's the spirit. Knock yourself out on those biscuits. No soup for you, though. You slept straight through serving time in the mess hall. Honestly, not a huge loss between you and me. It was pretty crap. All right, cool. Let's get a hold of our faculties here. There is a biscuit on the table. Approach. You highlight it. Press A to take. All right, here we are. Okay. Um, I don't know what isometric view would look, but let's, let's, let's hang out with this one for a little bit. All right, cool. Take all right, you took the biscuit. Press the plus button to uh, take a look at it in the inventory. Got it, got it. Let's look at plus. There it is. The biscuit. Uh, should we eat it? That's in slot one. Um, oh, dude. All right, let me look at this. Uh, use X. There we go. Healed zero health points. Probably didn't need to take it. All right, cool. Whatever. Oh, we got a change in view here. You yawn as you enter the next room and stop before a closed door. The ancient scratches his unshaven neck. Wasteland habits never die. Whenever I get under a roof or shelter, I always attempt to barricade myself in, like with this door, for example. 
I'd locked it on instinct. Never even bothered to remember where I stashed the key. Can you take a quick look around for it? <laughs> okay. Is this, uh, this is a test of some kind, right? A test? Well, if you struggle with opening doors, then yeah, it's a test. All right. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shoot. What'd I do? Um, I might have accidentally skipped that. All right, took a glass. Uh, you wonder if there's any atomic fizzy left to drink? No, no atomic fizzy. Search. All right. This is my inventory. This is whatever that was. What is this? Can I? Description ZR. Oh, all right. 5% stealth. I will take it. I accept it. In fact, whoa, hey, yo. Don't want to do that. Let's, let's, let's put that on. Look at that. We're very sneaky now with our bandana. Hey, I found the key. That was not really that hidden. All right, so we've got to put it in slot one. Open the inventory. Press A to equip it in active slot. It'll make the character have it in his hand. Press A near the door. All right, cool. Let's do that. I did it again. Push an X. All right, cool. We got it in our slot. Oh, yeah. It's a movable camera. Cool. I like that. All right. Uh, rope. Yeah. Let's take the rope. What are you? Waste paper. I don't know what this would be good for. So we're not going to take it. What are you? Ah, TP. Heck yeah, we're taking some TP. Um, this camera's kind of... It's messing me, with me a little bit. So I might might change a box of nails. Yeah, sure. Uh, scrap metal. What's our weight capacity? 68 kilos. All right, so we're, we're not doing too bad. Ooh, that camera's fast. Now let's open it up. You take a deep breath of, uh, you take a deep breath. The air of the assembly field is filled with the stench of machine oil and soldier sweat. Today, only you and your colleagues stand here. I'll be honest with you, Abraham. Uh, the wastes are no joke. You need to be prepared. Are you ready to do some training, training exercise before the, before the briefing? Um, yeah, sure. It won't hurt. Okay, listen up. There are various training spots around the courtyard. Pick any of them and I'll train you as well as I can. When you've had enough, feel free to head into the main bunker. All right, got it. Uh, to view your stats, push up. See followers. Uh, okay, got it. So I'm pushing up, and then I can toggle between them. Not bad. Hey, man, he's pretty good at the martial arts. Look at you. Oh, he's level seven. That's not even fair. That is not even fair. All right, I do want to... Uh, how do I get to those settings, guys? How do I get to those settings? Oh, man. I see it switching. Is it minus? Let's try minus. Yeah. I'm going to try and see what isometric mode is. Oh, I cannot change that. Oh, okay. All right. I, this is not bad. Because, I mean, the way it was before is I could go over the top. And it was, it was kind of a little bit too much. I wish this was a little bit more pulled back. But we'll deal with it. We will deal with it. I can't pull it back, can I? No. Am I going the right way? Ah, yes. All right. Here, as you already know, is a shooting gallery. Try to shoot some targets. All right, grab a weapon. Put an active slot. Attack the non-hostile. Press Y. Okay. Um. What would I grab? I'm grabbing oh, rubber bullets. I don't want no stinking rubber bullets. I'm taking the gun. Um, let's see here. Still learning. Slot, slot. Oh, wait. No. All right. So he, I gave it to him there. I got to give him some bullets, I guess. Can I do that? Can I, can I drop? Not drop that. But can I split that stack? Doesn't look like it can. Well, good luck, dude. Okay. 10% chance to hit that dude. Really? Oh, you missed? How? Am I that am I that bad? I guess I am. Alright. Let's try this. Not even close. Okay. How about that? No. Huh. Okay. How about if I Kick it. Can I kick? Yeah. Right in the 
I think I missed, but whatever. All right, cool. Let's try this gun, training AR. So we'll have to equip that as well. Let's do that. We'll do that in the other hand. So pushing R. Oh yeah, not a scratch. We are not good at this, guys. That's not what I wanted. So I can I can reload. I can also I can also aim. How's that? How's that work? It does not work good. So Mr. Ibrahim has missed. Oh, dude, you you cannot miss with a snipe, a sniper rifle. Oh man, these are way downtown here. All right, let's try that again. Here we go. Nothing. Oh man, this is not gonna go well. What's this? What are you? Oh yeah. Okay. Let's take some of them. I'm just pushing some buttons. All right, down is the map. Left. Right. Oh, looks like we can rest. Okay. Yep. Just gotta find out what my buttons do. I mean, this really shouldn't be a miss, right? Target is too far. All right, let's get a little closer. Oh, yeah, one XP. We are the best. We're going to level up soon. Can I reach you? Oh, that just hit me. That's not good. Alf, what are you doing? All right, so that's going to conclude the training. Okay, here are some guys that seem to be resting here. If you want, we can ask them for a quick sparring match. Just don't forget to grab one of the guns first. Okay. Issue commands. Hold A on a team member to switch. And switch to the command you want to issue. Wait, were they moving without me? Chill out, Holmes. Yeah, I'm going to have to get close, so this is it's not going to work. All right, so it looks like we have eight APs, eight action points there, maybe. So let's head over here. Yeah, that definitely is APs. Um, what is the cost to fire a weapon? So are those numbers four, five, and two? Are those the... Um, Actions that it costs. Yeah. Okay. So that'll be my turn. We'll end that turn. Oh, right in the we should probably hide. What are you doing? Oh boy. Alright, so let's um let's get our, our kick in order. Let's kick this mofo. Target is too far. Can you like I don't know, maybe go over there? Four to kick? Really? I left myself in a really bad spot here. Oh, man. Well, that's not good. I don't want this weapon in here. How do I get rid of that? Okay. He missed. These guys are all terrible shots. All right. Let's... let's... How do you... You missed? There we go. There's no one watching... Karate Kid. Ooh, right in the right in the shins, maybe. Wow, I am el elusive. All right, maybe I oh, I can't do that now. All right. Holy cow! Um, what does aim do? Oh, I can aim for spots. Oh, yeah. Let's aim for the, the he head. Okay. Well, that's my turn. Hey, man. What are you doing? No, don't, don't do that. Look over here. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, but how do I switch to him? Oh, I can zoom out a little bit. 
Okay, with the Z and R. At least in battle. Um... Am I just on my own? I don't get it. Okay. Nope, don't want to aim, I just want to kick. There we go. Now you're in trouble. Oh no, 20... 22 damage. Uh, 22 HP left. Can I get one dude down? There we go. Might be easier with a friend. Just saying. Alright, we got one guy down. Dude. Where were you? Where the heck were you? Can I talk to you guys? Uh, no, maybe later. I don't want to talk. I don't want to train anymore. I thought, what? I want to know where he was. Like, where was he the whole time? Down on the map. Where am I going? I feel like that's where I came from. Is this the main bunker here? Maybe. Oh, never mind. That's it. All right, let's go in there. of the Soviet army created long before the war caused by the imperialist conquerors. Our mission does not end in gathering pre-war technology and reviving our Soviet motherland. We also strive to reach the pre-war quality of life for all. To realize those goals, we often send search expeditions into the wasteland. Not long ago, one of such expeditions led by General Morozov lost all contact with the base. Our human resources are limited. Therefore, the standard procedure is to send out but a few agents to investigate this problem. You are one of the chosen for this mission. General Morozov's troops had an important quest to locate, control, and study a secret bunker. Bunker 317. According to our data, it is located near the village of Otradnoya. To successfully complete your mission, we recommend you to contact our agent in the city of Krasnos Nemunye, codenamed Fidel. He's hiding in plain sight as a barkeep in the outskirts of the city, so apart from physical aid, he can offer you informational support as well. You will learn the password needed to contact our agent from the envelope. Destroy it upon reading. And remember, your mission is to gather intelligence on the disappearance of Morozov and his troops. No heroics. Wastes are a dangerous place. Okay. Good luck, cadet, and let there be atom. Okay. We gotta go find that dude. Fidel. What a calm night. A bit too calm, if you ask me. There's my gun by my side that I'll never be able to use. What's, wait, wait a second. What's that rustling sound? I don't know. Oh, shoot. What is going on? A well-built man in his 30 emerges from, an une from the uneven shadows dance around the campfire. He's dressed in a musty khaki uniform. Well, 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 what do we have here? Hope I'm not bothering you, comrade. The man stops before you and rubs his hands as if to warm himself or to show off a formidable set of brass knuckles on his left hand. You look like a tourist, man. Nice tent, clean clothes, without holes or tears or so much other stuff. The man whistles to <laughs> whistles at all your equipment. Okay, it must be difficult carrying such a load of stuff around. The stranger's face breaks into an ominous smile. You know what? Me and my pals could help you. Well, not for free, of course, but for a very reasonable price. What say you? 
you finally notice the four other figures standing around the edge of the firelight. If you still had any doubt about what transpiring, now it's painfully clear. You're about to get robbed. Alright, you choose you chose the wrong victim, mate. I've been trained to deal with hostile locals. Listen, I agree. That sharing is caring, but all I have is the bare minimal for survival. Act like a decent human being and leave me be. Easy there, man. Maybe you missed it in the dark, but I'm not the sort to be stopped by some brass knuckles. Ah, what the hell? Go rob me. Go be a bunch of lowlifes. Um, I think I'm gonna go here. Uh, I, you know, I got the bare minimum. Like, come on, guys. Treat me like a human. The man smiles and winks at you. Oh, 21 XP. I'm pretty good at this game. Ah, don't sweat it, rookie. We're not gonna hurt you. We just wanna browse through your stuff for a second. Who knows? Maybe we won't take anything. You can lie down and have a little rest while we're at it. Wait, what do you what do you mean? Okay, it's on. Wait. <laughs> okay. Uh, take the loot, man. Wow. Okay. Uh, lost my first official fight pretty quickly. I didn't even get to do anything. Ah, my head. Those assholes robbed me blind. Oh man, they didn't. They didn't leave anything. Maybe whatever that is. Is that water? Empty canteen. Did they drink my water. What do we got in the tent? Anything? Nah, nothing. They really did rob me blind. What do we got in the map? All right, so we have we have nothing. Location is the beginning, and the scale is one <laughs> two thousand. Wow. Okay, that is where we're going to end today's episode. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And don't forget to follow follow Adam RPG on Twitter. Uh, give him a give, give him a shout out. Um, Kickstart project so far so good so far so good there's some things that i that i'm not uh, that i need to get used to but um either way uh yes follow up in the next episode uh goodbye